Delicious, The Evolution of Flavor and How It Made Us Human by Rob Dunn is a compelling exploration of how the human proclivity for diverse flavors has shaped our evolution, cultures, and societies. Dunn, a biologist by training, delves into the intersection of ecology, evolution, and anthropology to unravel the way our quest for delicious tastes has impacted our species. In the beginning, Dunn examines the primal roots of flavor, pointing out that the sense of taste began as a simple mechanism to distinguish between nutritious and harmful food sources. Early humans relied on bitter tastes to alert them to potential toxins and sweeter flavors to identify energy-rich foods like ripe fruits. Over time, our ancestors began to explore a variety of natural flavors available in their environment, which not only satisfied their nutritional needs, but also provided pleasure. The book then delves into the complexity of flavor and its components, noting that flavor is not solely about taste, but a combination of taste, smell, texture, and other sensory inputs. Dunn explains that our ability to perceive a vast array of flavors is the result of our complex olfactory system, which has evolved to help us humans navigate our environment and identify diverse food sources. Dunn discusses the historical shift from a diet of wild plants and animals to one that includes more diverse and processed foods. The domestication of plants and animals led to the creation of new flavors through selective breeding and fermentation. For example, Dunn describes how the control of yeast and bacteria in food preparation processes like cheesemaking and brewing dramatically expanded the range of flavors available to humans. This, in turn, led to cultural advances as societies sought to perfect and trade these delicious products. The book further explores the influence of trade and globalization on flavor evolution. The spice trade, for one, played a critical role in human history. Spices not only made food more palatable but also preserved it, making them valuable commodities. The lust for spices drove exploration, colonization, and even warfare. Dunn underscores how the intercontinental exchange of crops and spices during the Columbian Exchange revolutionized diets and cuisines around the world. Dunn also delves into how our ancestors' pursuit of flavor led to the development of cooking. He posits that cooking food which releases and transforms flavors was a significant evolutionary step that allowed humans to access more calories and nutrients more efficiently. Cooked food required less energy to digest, which may have contributed to our ancestors' brain growth and development. Moreover, the social aspect of sharing meals became central to human communities, fostering cooperation and social bonds. In an examination of the modern era, Dunn discusses the industrialization of food and how it has influenced flavor. Mass production and the rise of fast food have led to the standardization of flavors with artificial additives often mimicking tastes that once indicated nutritional content. This industrial diet has disconnected many people from the origins of their food and the complexity of natural flavors. However, Dunn also recognizes a counter trend where the slow food movement and farm to table initiatives are reviving interest in traditional methods and the natural diversity of flavors. The negative aspects of our quest for flavor are not overlooked. Dunn acknowledges how the modern craving for high fat, high sugar, and high salt foods has led to an epidemic of health issues like obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. He suggests that our ancient flavor seeking behaviors, beneficial for survival in the past, may be maladapted to today's environment of caloric abundance. Furthermore, the book touches upon the psychological aspect of flavor how it creates memories and influences emotions. Dunn points out that the flavors we enjoy are often tied to experiences and cultural context, which can evoke deep emotional responses and contribute to what constitutes comfort food. As Dunn looks to the future of flavor, he speculates on the potential of biotechnology in creating novel tastes and even rescuing lost flavors through resurrecting extinct plants and animal breeds. He calls for a balance between embracing technological advancements and preserving the natural diversity of flavors that have been crafted by millennia of evolutionary and cultural processes. In conclusion, Dunn's Delicious is a multifaceted examination of how our love for flavor has been a driving force in human evolution, shaping not only our biological traits, but also our cultural practices and societal structures. The book is a celebration of the roles that taste, 
and the pursuit of deliciousness have played in making us distinctly human, while also cautioning against the excesses of modernity that threaten to dull and damage our relationship with the myriad tastes that the world offers. Dunn encourages readers to appreciate the evolutionary legacy within every bite and to seek a future where the richness of flavors is preserved and savored responsibly. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.